Hello everyone, welcome to Clash Encoder. So in this video, we will see the question 443 that is string compression. So this question is frequently asked in Amazon interviews and for other fan companies also. So this is a medium level question actually and you can see it has got most dislikes instead of the likes. So let's see the problem statement. Then I will explain you actually how to solve this question optimally. So this is actually not a difficult question at all. So let's see the problem statement. Given an array of characters, cares, compress it using the following algorithm. Begin with an empty string S. For each group of consecutive repeating characters in characters, so characters is actually a string or array, array of characters that we are given. And for every group or each group of consecutive repeating, consecutive means they are adjacent to each other, repeating means same elements. So if a group length is, a group's length is 1, append the character to the string. So if the character that we, uh, we are having in the character's uh, array is a length, its length or it is occurring one time, so we will simply add it to the string. Otherwise, append the character follow by the group's length so here the group's length means you can see this string we are given so here a character if a single character is given like in this a single character is given so we will simply add it to the string so string is actually empty that we have initialized otherwise if it is a group that means uh, there are repeating characters after it same consecutive repeating characters then we will add the count of that so a we will add a then the count of uh, the group or its length which you can see a and a so a, a is equal two times so length of the group is two so we'll add two after a so this is what uh, the question is telling us the compressed string s should not be returned separately but instead be stored in the input characters array that means we have to solve it in o of one space complexity not using the extra space so we have to opt uh, we have to modify the original array that we are given input array so you can see note the group lengths are uh, that are uh, 10 or are longer will be split into multiple characters so here as i told you a occurs two times so we can simply add a and do uh, after that otherwise if like this thing uh, you can see this length so it, it occurs like uh, if a string occurs or a character occurs more than 10 number of times so there will be two digits or there can be like three or four digits so it will be 10 so you cannot add simply a10 so you will have because we have to modify this character array that we are given so that means we will have to store a at this point and one at this point and zero at as another character so we will have to consider not 10 not as a single character but as a different character one as another character and zero as another character so we will have to save them in different indices so this is what the question is telling us after you are uh, done modifying the input array return the new length of the array so we don't have to actually return the string or uh, the character array. we have to simply return the length that means the total uh, string length after compressing it so let's see so could you solve it in uh, using only o of one space complexity so it is already already telling us to save the input or the output in actually the original array so that is why it will take only o of one space extra complexity so let's see so you can see in this example that we given a a a and b b and a a so here after compressing this string uh, actually the character of this array so what we will get is a a a you can see a is occurring three times it is occurring three, uh, more than one number of times so that is why we will have to write the character first of all and then the length of the characters the same characters so it is you can see three so a three then after that you can see b so b is also occurring more than one number of times so it will be b then we will add the length so length is two actually then you can see a then again it is occurring two number of times so it will be a three b two and a two and the length of this total length is actually you can see six so we will have to return six so we have to return actually an integer output not the string so that is what it is saying and you can see the constraints also so the length of the uh, array or the characters array will vary from one to 2000 and all the characters are in lower uh, case English letter. So let's see how we can solve this question actually. So as I told you, you would have got the example, but let's see again. So this is the different example that we are given. So you can see here the output should be actually you can see A2 and B2 and C3 and D. So let's see how we are getting this output. So actually we have to com uh, we have to compress this string, the input string the, uh, that we are given. So this is actually the array of characters that we are given. So you can see if a character occurs more than one number of time, if you can see it A occurs two number of time. So what we have to do is we have to write A, then the number of times it is occurring. So it is actually, actually occurring two number of time, you can see in this group. So we will write 2 followed a the character and then the length of the characters uh, so uh, followed by uh, you can see and then we will write b so you can see b is again occurring more than one number of things so we will write b and then we will write 2 
and then you can see c so c is again occurring more number of times so more than one number of times so it will be c and then 3 now if when you see uh, d sorry when you see d so d is only occurring one number of time so we are written that we are given that if a character is occurring you can see group length is one so here you can see group length is one d is occurring one time so we will simply add the character we will not add anything one we will not add one we will simply add d so this will be our output string that we will get it so you can see the length will be one two three four five six and seven so sorry the output will be seven actually for this so we have to return seven so let's see how we can approach this question now so as I told you, we have to find the character and then the length of the uh, group of the particular character. So what we can do is we can simply traverse over the string. So we can uh, set a pointer. So we'll traverse over the string and then when uh, we will set again another pointer which will be okay if we, this is i we have set a j again a different pointer and what we will do is we will keep incrementing j for i is at this point this is our main pointer that we will uh, use for traversing the character's array and we will set our j pointer to i and we will keep incrementing j while the value of j is equal to i so i you can see this value is uh, a so j is equal to a so this index value is equal to a so we will simply increment j j will come here now again you can see this a value is equal to this value a value so we will simply increment j again so now you can see when j is a j is at 2 okay j is 2 and i is 0 so now we have got the character because the ith index is at the character the starting character that we have to write so it will be added in the string now you can see when we see j minus i so j is 2 actually and i is 0 so 2 minus 0 is giving 2 so that means it is giving the length of the the group so we can simply check if this length that is 2 is greater than 1 it should be strictly greater than 1 otherwise if it is 1 we simply don't add this value we simply add the character if it is greater than 1 j minus i you can see 2 minus 0 is greater than 1 so what we have to do is we will add the we will have the, we have the empty string okay we add the first character that is a of this character's array and the ith in the ith index so it is a so we add a and then we add j minus i if it is greater than 1 so it is 2 it is greater than 1 so we form it as a string and we simply add it like this now when we see this uh, b so you can see now before uh, moving further what we have to do is we will run while i is less than n so i is actually traversing the whole string so now we have to update i also because j has done its part now i has to be incremented so we cannot increment i simply to a so it will again start counting a so we have to set i to where the j was so j was at this index so i will be set to b now again i is at b and we will keep incrementing j while it is equal to i so j will come here first it is uh, coming at this point okay then again this b is equal to this b so j will be incremented so now j is at here you can see 4 minus you can see this uh, i is here so 4 minus 2 again the length is 2 so we will check if it is greater than 1 so we simply add b then we will add 2 now the problem occurs when we have let me write it here so uh, the problem occurs when we have more than uh, okay more than 10 or actually 10 b's so if in example okay in an example we have 10 b's okay 10 b's actually so i'm not writing it here we have 10 b's so what we will have to do is actually our length will be 10 okay we have written b and our length will be 10 so 10 is actually a two digit character or you can say two uh, okay it is uh, consisting of two characters string so we cannot simply add 10 like that okay if, if we are using a string so if we are storing the output in a string we have uh, created an empty, empty string so we are storing it uh, somewhere so it will be simply uh, we can simply add it in, uh, in a string as a string b and then 10 but here the question asks us to solve it in using o of one extra space so that means we have to modify this input array so what we have to do is as it uh, let me tell you again so when we are updating the values okay when we have got the value when our i was here and our j was here after uh, getting the count so what we have to do is we will make another pointer that is k so k will be at the initial value that will be returning the length the k is actually that we have to return so when i is here j will keep incrementing while it is equal to i th value so you can see a is equal a is equal again j will be incremented till this point so now j is 2 and i is 0 so now when we subtract it we get 2 so that means it is greater than 1 so we will simply add it so what we have to do we will set the k to 0 so k is 0 first of all so at 0th point we will update it with i th value so uh, this characters of k will be updated with characters of i which is a so a will be uh, this overwritten again so now we will increment k so k will be incremented k will come here k is at this point so now we have got the value so which is greater than uh, 1 so we, we have to add this value uh, after this character so we will 
traverse this thing so if it is of length uh, okay one simply two so we can simply add it into the kth value and again increment the k so we are actually modifying our input array so this will be in uh, this will be you can see they are modified so it will become a and two because we don't need to uh, use this value again so we are simply um, modifying it and going further so now if a value is set 10 so then we can simply not add 10 it at a particular same index so we will have to add one at uh, let me erase this so actually what we have to do is we have to add one at this point and zero at this point that is what i'm trying to tell if the length is great uh, if the string length is greater than two so we are uh, greater than or equal to two so we have to add it like this so for that what we have to do is th we will form the string so i j minus i is 10 suppose j minus i is 10 so we have got this string so what we will do is we will traverse the string character by character and we will keep adding that character to the kth index so k, k as at, is at this point suppose a occurs 10 times so we have to write this so for writing this we have written a so a characters of k is equal to characters of i then for uh, for adding the value of that particular occurring uh, length of it, the a so what we have to do is we will traverse over the string and our k is at this point so we will add this uh, in this string suppose we are traversing it so first character so we will add first character at this kth index okay then we will increment our k then we will add this zero at this index k and again we will update now our i till j so this is what we are going to do so let's see the algorithm now so this is the algorithm that i have uh, written you can see so first of all what we have to do is we have to initialize i and k so k will be actually the length that we have to return you can see we have to return k so k will be actually uh, used to modify the input array so i is the uh, uh, counter that we are going to use the pointer that we are going to use to traverse the array so we will run a loop while i is less than n so i will keep traversing over the array we will set j to i so j to i because j will start from the i i we are supposing as a first character in the particular group so j will keep incrementing while the uh, jth value and ith value are equal you can see here i is equal to j so a is equal equal so you can see then j will be incremented so again we will check if this j value is equal to i value you can see a and a are equal so j will be incremented so when we reach here so this loop will end you can see while j is less than n and i of j is equal to equal to i of i so it will end at this point not at this point it will keep incrementing while it is equal so at this point it is equal to i so it will increment and it will come to this point now we know that we get the length you can see we will check why if j i j minus i you can see j minus i is actually 2 so 2 is greater than 1 so that means we have to add it so what we have to do you can see k is initially 0 so k is set to 0 so we will do k first of all k you can see this value will be updated to ith value you can see a of i a of i is a only so this will be overwritten so it will be remaining as it is and you can see k plus plus so k will be actually incremented so after this point k is incremented so that means till this point we have uh, modified our array so now k so k at this point we have to add the value of i j minus i so j minus i you can see we will uh, we will so, store it into a string j minus i so it is 2 so we have stored it into a string and we will traverse over this string so this is actually a string not an integer so we will traverse so first character will be added to k kth index so it will be added so this will be modified and k will be incremented you can see k plus plus so it will be incremented so k will come here so now after this step we have to set our or we have to increment our i also because i will not be able to traverse this thing so this thing has been modified so i will be set to where the j was previously so you can see it is set to j now again it will be j will be set to i again uh, on the next iteration and it will keep incrementing in this loop while the value is equal to ith value you can see so here j will be incrementing so a value is equal so now again b and b are equal so j will be incrementing so j will come here so now when you see j minus i is actually 2 so you can see 4 minus 2 is actually 2 so it is greater than 1 so that means first of all uh, before calculating that we know that we have to add the character at every point the character we have to add then the for the length of the character uh, the, the group of the character we will we can add that afterwards so first of all we will modify this so we will set a of k or the character array of k is equal to characters array of i so it will be incremented so now k will be incremented you can see so k will come here at this point you can see so we have modified till this point okay we have modified till this point so now we will check j minus i is greater than 1 so it is 2 it is greater than 1 so this is actually a string you can see this will be stored in a string so we will traverse over the string and we will keep adding its value to the kth index so 2 will be added here and k will be incremented so k will come at this point so now again i will be set to the jth point and it will keep doing that so otherwise if we I, as i told you if we have a character occurring more number of times so if we you know, let me write it here so if we have a uh, array like a okay a a a and you can see we have a occurring more than 
10 number of time so we have let me write it so we have a occurring more than 10 number of time so what we will have to do is so we will uh, get its length uh, with j minus i so i is at this point and j will be at this point so in its length will be 3 3 so it will be 6 and 9 and 12 and 14 so its length will be 14 so we cannot add 14 simply so we for we will have 14 as a string so we will have 14 as a string and we will traverse it by character by character and we uh, i is at this point okay so it will be oh okay actually i is at this point and k is also at this point so k will be modified then k will come here k will increment i will stay here so now we will traverse over this string so first character is this we will uh, set this first character to this kth index so it will be modified now again k will be incremented so it will come here then this 14 will be set to this point so it will be updated so we'll get a 1 4 so simply we are traversing it as a string not as an integer and we are adding its every character at a different uh, index incrementing k one by one so this uh, solution will actually take o of n time because we are only traversing the array and it will take o of one space and because why it will take o of n time why it will not take uh, you can see uh, n square time because we are using two different uh, different file loops because actually you can see i is not incrementing one by one it is actually going till j where, where j is so it is actually in total it is traversing only n time o of n time because j is starting from the i and it is going till the point where it is equal to i and i is simply jumping to j so it will be actually uh, near about o of n and the space will be o of n only because we are modifying the input array only we are not using any extra space we are simply modifying the array and returning it so let's see the code so i will also provide the code in the description actually so you can see here i have simply initialized i and then i have uh, this uh, the length of the characters array then we this new array length is actually our k here and we will traverse over this uh, you can see while i is less than n where we will set the j to i and we will run a loop while j is less than n and the characters of j is equal to equal to i so we will get the j j is actually the count of the the count of uh, the characters occurring uh, that we are searching for so then we will update uh, you can see new length plus plus and we will update the particular index and then we will check if j minus i is greater than 1 if it is greater than 1 then only we have to add that value if it is 1 we as you can see this first condition we don't have to simply add it we have to simply add the character and that we have added so we will check if it is greater than 1 then we will add you can see for characters so we will traverse the string we will uh, form this as a string j minus i will be as a string and we will traverse it character by character for handling the case that is you can see but instead of uh, storing you can see here uh, note that the group lengths that are 10 or longer will be split into multiple characters so we, we are simply doing that and after that we will simply set i to j because i don't need to traverse over that point again because uh, the array has been modified so it will be set to j and it will count for the next character so then we will simply return the new length because we have to return the integer and k will be incremented so in this example k will come at this point okay it will be uh, c and you can see c will be 3 will be stored here and d will come here so k will be at this point so we will simply return 6 you can see so we'll simply return 6 so let's submit the solution and see it if it works so let's see so i will also provide the code in the description you can check the code from there so you can see this solution uh, was faster than 96.61 percent of the solutions and it took less memory than 93.69 percent of the solutions so i will also provide the code in the description you can check it out from there thank you for watching guys do like this video and subscribe this channel for more such videos thank you for watching